Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Marvin's Mod. So in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves a key, which we are going to go and use, uh, which we need to go back downstairs for, don't we? Yes. We need to go back this way. We do... Yep, we had to go get the lighter. I got it. I got it. I know what I'm doing. I swears. I swear I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Now. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm sitting here thinking we need to get some kind of decent firepower. But we got the shotty. Shotty ado. I do love the fact that you can just skip those uh, doors, though. That's really cool. Is there, like, nothing inside looks useful? Son of a bitch. I want my shotgun shells, god damn it. Right. You hear that? We go and liquor hunting. Ooh. Two shells sorted him out. Happy with that. Not often two shells puts these guys down. Right, you ugly son of a bitch. Where are you? I wonder. You know, might get away. We're not killing that one. Just to save uh, some cartridges for later. Now, I know I'm not being a stingy bastard on purpose. It's just, well, those cartridges, man. Okay, so let's see if I can remember this. I think I balls this up when I was doing it um, off camera. Nope. So I think in that case, it's... See how many time uh, how many it takes me to get this right. Ah, second try. I'll take it. Took me quite a few tries when I first uh, got back here. I was like, I'm not going to look it up because I, this is ingrained in my brain. But uh, well, I mean, I, I guess it wasn't that ingrained in my brain, now was it? Right, you can kiss my. Chocolate ass, boy. Uh, run. He wants it. He really wanted it. And I weren't going to give it to him. Because Marvin's just not that kind of man. No, sir. Okay. Hey, buddy. Now, let us have a thunk about it. We need to go to the library. Like, oh, wait, hang on. <sighs> we do need to go to the library, but wait a minute. We might need to take a bit of a eh, detour. Remember when I was going on about how good the quick turn is on this game? Yeah, I mentioned that, and then it does everything in its power to kind of not work for me and make me look stupid. I don't need anything uh, extra making me look stupid, okay? There's already, a, there's already a big list, okay? It's fine. Okay, so we don't need that again. We do need that, but not right now. We're about to use that up, so. I've got to try and think now, using all the power of my brain. No laughing at the back. We can go open up the library. Yeah, I think we probably should have dropped the cog back as well. Ah, there's a red herb. Stuff that into the uh, prison pocket. I mean back pocket. Um, nothing useful here. Now, there's the original puzzle. But if we come up here... 
and have a little bit of a run around. We can see that this uh, this floor is quite solid. We can jump, we can tap dance, we can do pretty much anything, but we can't go down, unfortunately. We can try and manipulate the buttons, but it does nothing. Not a goddamn thing. So. Let's take a little wander through Flavor Country. Evening! Yeah. Now, luckily enough, these two... Well... If we had let them, of course... Do this weird thing where they walk into each other. And they kind of get stuck. At least they did when I played this off camera on my own. I don't know whether I... Yeah, we can't, like, interact with this door at all. Don't even get a prompt for that. Uh, now, if we come over here, we will find the parking lot key. Oh my, the parking lot. Lovely. Was really hoping we got to go back down there again. He lied. Okay, fine. Yeah, we can't use the cog yet. Because we need to find the crank. <gasps> now, now, look who's here. Yeah. Got a bit of a liquor problem. Nothing a couple of uh, shotgun blasts to the brain can't solve, mind you. All right. There's another liquor over this side. Ooh, a little bit too close. Well, he was a stupid bastard, wasn't he? And if I could... There we go. All right. Okay, fine. So let me think about this. No laughing at the back. We need to go back underground to the parking lot, which is this way. We can drop the cog, but we must remember to pick the cog back up on the way through. Because again, we're in another situation here where the pans are in the attic and the kitchen's in the basement. So we don't need you. That's about to get used up. Um, oh, dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, we probably want to drop that as well. Yeah, it looks good. We don't have any healing. Which, uh, is that going to be a problem? Um, maybe. But we're going to find that out together. Also, yes. I was going to say, are we going in the right direction? Uh, yeah, we are. Marvin knows his way around. I don't, but Marvin does. Legends have it. I've been here before. But my memory is old and shaky. Yep. This place is now full of legions of the undead, not dogs, which is why I kind of didn't want to kill the dog. Whoa. What's going on with this gun? I could get used to that. I must admit, I am a fan of the knife being a um, item, a permanent item that doesn't actually use inventory space. I like that. Now, I can't remember if we have... Oh, okay. I thought we had liquors in here repopulating, but... Ah, I guess not. That's fine. Didn't really want to bump into liquors, I'll be honest. Yeah, it wasn't a priority for me, you know? Now. This is a room that can go bad. Fast. But we're not going to let it, see? Because we have gun. We just need to wait for some... Some dogs to actually, you know, get into our field of fire. Oh, one's coming. All right. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Yep. Ow, ow, 
Ow, ow, and guess what? Ow. You son of a... Oh, that stung. Okay. Didn't sting as much as, as it could have. Oh, there's the crank. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I've done goofed. I have done goof, guys. But that's okay. I've done goofed, but... And we can't... We just straight up can't go this way. I'm guessing the game still thinks the... Uh, van is still there. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot that crank. Well, I am a moron. And that's okay. That is okay. I don't mind being retarded every now and again. One day someone's going to complain about uh, at me for using that word. And one day I'm not going to care. So, you know. I've already had somebody moan at me at work for using that word before. It's just like, grow some fucking balls, man. Jesus. Right, let's go all the bloody way. At least we've cleared this area out, I guess. So there's that. God, I can't believe, I can't believe I forgot the crank. I, son of a bitch. Well, you don't come to my channel for professional gameplay, that's for damn sure. You know what, we can munch that. Alright, let's go put you back and exchange you for you. We are going to want some shotty shells. 100% we're going to want some shotty shells. But why? Well, you'll see. You'll see. And you'll probably laugh. That poor old uh, Marvin here getting horribly eviscerated. And you know what? I'll probably laugh too. Okay. Yep. Hear him. Hear him. I can smell him. Yeah. I knew that was brave. You know, there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. A very fine line. Right. Though we didn't actually take much visible damage there, so I'm gonna count that as a as a win. Okay. We remember this puzzle. Looks like a switch. Well, <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> it certainly does. Right. We have the engine fuse. And we have a big old chute to go fall down. Oof. I think we scraped a few layers of skin off our ass there as well, but that's fine. Now we can potentially unlock this door, I believe. Yeah, and that just leaves back out to the uh, parking lot, as we all know. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh, hello. Eggs a little bit, a little bit too close. No, no, no. Don't like that. Come on. Sit down. It's quite enough of you, sunshine. Took a nasty hit there that we, let's be honest, really didn't need to. We are running out of the good stuff here. 
And there is the engine cable. Control panel to release the lock. It's already unlocked. Excellent. I wonder if our old pal Ben is still here. Because there sure as hell ain't anything else in here. Not that I can tell, anyway. Oh, yes there is. Look at me. <laughs> Talking shit again. As if I would do such a thing. Hello, Ben. You know, you're a pretty tall chap. And you were way better in the uh, the remake. Just saying. Yes, I am going to die on that hill. A survivor. Sir, I'm here to rescue you. Please follow me. We have an evacuation plan. No way. I'm not leaving this cell. Those zombies aren't the only thing out there. Yes, that's why we need to get out of here. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. This cell is probably the safest place in the city. <laughs> yeah. Sure, buddy. Sure. It's rather ironic. Fine. Take this key. You can lock the cell door to stay safe. Gee, thanks. Good luck with your escape plan. You're going to need it. Yeah, gee. Hope you don't get horribly murdered by a monster. Okay. So. Let's get tactical. This place crawls. Hello, buddy. Gonna put you down. This will save us a little bit of hassle. Not sure how much hassle it's gonna save us. Sure as hell not really saving us a lot of ammo. Okay. Now that gives us... We don't have a lot of uh, ammo left at all for our handgun, but, you know, we're not going to need it. Now, we can't get into the cells because the dogs didn't break out of the cells. And to be honest, I don't think there's anything in there. But I don't think... I don't think I checked, actually. Anywho, let's go down the ladder. And we have some spiders. Yes, remember those? They went in the uh, remake for some reason. No idea why they were omitted, to be honest. They could have been really cool, but... Whatever, I guess. Um, now... We're gonna have to be. We're gonna have to make a tactical decision here. Uh, we can't get in that room because it's locked. I think what we're gonna have to do here, guys, is this. We we're kind of close to the end now, believe it or not. Um. But what I might do. Fuck, we're really close to the end, actually. Yep, we should be fine. All right. Um, <laughs> so we're going to save it. Because this bit does get a little, how you say, delicate. And by delicate, you need liberal amounts of gun. But we have lots of gun, so it's fine. Um, let's munch down a herb. Uh, we're going to drop those. Drop that. We're going to use you. We are going to grab you. And we don't need these yet, I guess. Um, oh, we really don't have many... Shotgun shells, do we? Oh. Wait. Uh, yeah, actually, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Alright. 
Let's go. Come on, Marv. Can't go in there. It's locked. But we can go up and over this box. And on here is a lovely sight. Eight beautiful magnum rounds. But through here is our one and only boss of the game. Now, I say boss. It's not much of a boss, if we're being honest with ourselves. It's that thing. And we're just going to rattle off as many rounds as we can. These bloody things are going to make us have a bit of a bad time. These things really do quite hurt quite badly, actually. Right, let's just keep unloading on the G-Monster. And when he starts getting a little bit close, we're going to eat that. And give him what for from this. Right. Get off me, you ugly sons of bitches. Now, is he dead? Yep, he's dead. So, let's quickly get out of the room before these things eat more of our face. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, that G monster um, is literally the only only boss in the game uh, in the mod. So you know, whatever. It's kind of cool, but uh, we could take that, I suppose. Sure. Now we've got to go do the box puzzle. And this will give us the oil. Uh, right. Let's go do this quickly. A puzzle so simple, a little child could do it. Like so. And this bit here. Cool. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right. Let's go fill up. And go grab the goodies beyond. And there's the engine oil. Lovely. So, we've got the oil. We've got the fuse, we've got the power cable. We have everything that we need to get out of here and to be free. So let's take this express elevator down to hell. I'm gonna grab the F8 spray just because. Now you'll know if you've done everything right because once we get back here, Rita will be here. If you've missed anything and you get back here, she won't be here. Marvin, you're alive. Yeah, barely. Where's Elliot? I don't know. We got separated. Don't worry, Rita. I'm sure he's fine. We need to get that truck repaired. Have you got the oil, fuse, and wire? Make sure you're carrying the items with you. The police station has been overrun by monsters. We won't have much time to escape, so make sure you're fully prepared. Yeah, so I'm not sure how I feel about this bit, but we'll go into that in a minute. Right, you know what? Let's take the Magnum, because why the devil not? We'll take a healer. We will take... Yeah, we should be good with that, to be honest. We've got a shotgun, we've got the Magnum. The Magnum's gonna kill, yeah, 16 enemies. Uh, might be worth saving it. I mean, did we say, I can't remember. Did I just save the game? I can't remember. We'll drop another one. Yeah, I mean, technically we did just save the game, but whatever. This bit, if it goes badly wrong, at least. It'll save us a little bit of time. Now, let's grab and go. 
Right, and as long as you have all the key items on you, that will trigger the end. Now you've got two minutes to get to the back or the front uh, of the RPD. I don't know why we have this time limit. It seems a little bit questionable, to be honest. But, you know, it's fine, I guess. Sit down, sir. Let's go. Come on, Rita. Oof. You're done. You're done. That's it, Rita. Pretend like you you, you want to kill these guys. Feel that fire burning inside you. Just me? I. Now, you actually really, as you can see, do not have a lot of time here. Oh, hello. Yep. We absolutely don't have time to loiter and piss around. It uh, looks like... I don't know if Rita has healed. I'm going to say she probably hasn't healed from when we had her last time. What is our health like? It's fine. Let's just detach his brain stem. Oh, that was incredibly close, but whatever. Um... Oh, <laughs> not today, fucker. Uh, use you. Let's go. The end is in sight. We just got some Zeds. But that's okay. We can remove these guys. What? Oh, you little sausage. Thanks, Rita. Only an hour too late, but better late, better late than never, right? All right, forty odd seconds before we get abandoned. As I said, I don't really understand the time pressure here, but I guess they wanted to keep it kind of in line with. The rest of the Resident Evil games, which, okay. And there we go. Mod created by Aiden Watkins. Pretty sure there's more credits. Okay, I'm not sure why <laughs> uh, the credits skipped. That's <laughs> odd. Um, it seemed to skip them when I touched my... Uh, volume dial but anyway there we have it um well that was something wasn't it that was something really really cool now it says we unlock the rocket launcher here but it's also going to give us a, a completion file that we can't load 
Um, yes. This apparently was a long time coming. Um, I haven't really looked up a lot of information on the mod. But there's a few like this now. I believe they released a demo of this mod last year, or possibly the year before. This was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And what a wonderful idea as well to go back into the old uh, Resident Evil games and start patching um, extra scenarios into the engine. And I'm sure there's a lot of work that has to go into this because, you know, working with such an old engine and whatnot. I don't know. I'm not a programmer. But that was fantastic. And it actually felt like a Resident Evil um, game. It felt like a, a little bonus mode that probably would have been included, uh, you know, back in the day. It, it felt that good. I like the way they ripped the cutscenes from Resident Evil Outbreak 2. I think it's Fall 2. I think so. Um, you know, seamlessly integrate them into the game. Kind of looks a little bit funky because, you know, <laughs> you've got these um, pretty good PS2 style cutscenes integrated with like well, very early, oh, very late 90s, um, you know, graphics. But hey, it worked and it did flush the story out. And what an interesting idea as well. Yeah. Really enjoyed this. Um, I will have the link in the description down below if I do forget it. Uh, I actually, I'll make a note for myself to remember. Really easy to download, uh, really easy to set up. You just, you just unzip it, um, you know, and play. Um, now, if you want to use a controller, you can't, from what I can understand, you can't use one wirelessly. You have to directly connect it to the controller. Um, yeah, I'm using my Xbox Elite Series 2 um, connected through USB, and it works fine. It automatically picked it up, and it works perfectly. I've had no crashes. I've had no errors. I've had no problems running on Windows 11 uh, with modern hardware. This has just been a great experience. And it's, it feels incredible to play some delicious original trilogy Resident Evil goodness that I've never played before. All new content. And pretty good content as well. Pretty, pretty bloody good. Of course, we all knew how Marvin was going to, you know, how it was going to end because, well, that's a very well told story. But, um, you know, inconsistencies aside, uh, it's, it's definitely well worth playing. I mean, it took us, what, an hour and 20 odd minutes to get through? You could probably do that in an hour. You could probably do it in much quicker than an hour. Um, I think some of the uh, items were placed around the precinct just, just to probably extend that and pad that game time out. But that's fair enough because, you know, the funny thing is, no matter where you are in the police station, it's not very big, is it? So, you know. Uh, and if you have, like, pretty good knowledge of Resident Evil 2, you, you're not going to have any problems with this game. Maybe if you're a new player and you've only played the original, uh, the modern games, you might, you know might take you you know a bit more to get to grips with it but difficulty wise i thought it was fine i think the ammo was fairly well balanced although did kind of lean on the side of having more than enough to get through Sp healing items as well there's a ton of healing items but then the original resident evil 2 wasn't a very tough game anyway you know, people always say, oh, Resident Evil, you're always running around with just a handful of bullets. It was never like that. It wasn't. <laughs> you know, some of the games were a little bit dicey to start with. But, yeah, towards the mid game and the end of the year, especially the end, you had more grenade launchers and tactical nuke launchers than you could, you know, shake a rotten zombie arm at. So, but there. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Highly recommended. Really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And definitely more of these mods to, to come as I can uh, uh, find them. <laughs>